Hello everyone, welcome to itwillyexpert.com. Today we are going to see project about mental health detection. Mental health detection using machine learning. This is the project we are going to see about. Okay, mental health detection using machine learning. Nowadays everyone dealing with various depression. In order to overcome depression, we have, we have to do various type of activities to overcome the depression. First of all, to overcome this depression, we have to analyze how much of depression we are having. So the depression will classify under various types. For example, if you are a student means you are affected with some type of depression. You are working with some other some places means you are having some sort of depression. So as well as same, same like that, married persons are also having some type of depression. So depression nowadays is common for everyone. So for to overcome this depression, we have to analyze how much percentage of depression we are having. So usually to analyze this depression level, we have to go to the certain psychologist. Though, though what will they do means they will ask some sort of questions to examine your condition. They will ask you some personal questions, some sort of questions. You have to answer them. By using your answer, they will examine how much percentage of depression you are having. This is the common type of methodology used to predict your depression. But these techniques are completely old. What the main drawback of this system was, whether you are going with a psychologist means they are asking some sort of questions. You, would, you won't reply 100% genuinely. You will hide some, some something now. That is the main problem here. Also time consuming. You have to visit some psychologist. You have to get an appointment. You have to make the examination. That's, that also having some time consumption. To overcome those kind of things, we are going for the completely machine learning kind of things for predicting your depression level. This is the project we are going to do here. So this project having multiple base papers, three base papers in 2003 itself. This is the first paper, this is the second paper, this is the third paper. So these are the papers we are going to consider this project. For this project, I'm going to explain the PPT. So for this project, we are having a report as well as PPT readily available. Once you're purchasing me, we can deliver everything. So this is the project report. So this is the project report. As well as this is the project PPT which I am going to explain now. So this is the project PPT. So the major title was we are given that mental health detection using machine learning. So this is a project abstract. In this abstract we have mentioned that mental health mental health is about your psychological condition, emotional condition as well as social well-being condition. We have to analyze those kind of things to predict your mental health stability. So the mental health is very much important for your uh, quality of life. So this is very much important. So in adult world stage itself, we are everyone having very much depression state. To overcome this only, we are going for this technique, okay? So this is the introduction of project. In introduction, we have given that mental health, mental health detection was all about your depression prediction, okay? It's independent about the male or female, whatever for your age, what is your profession, it's completely implement, uh, independent. Everyone is having some sort of uh, disorder, mental health disorder, okay? So mental health disorder means usually it refers to the depression level, okay? To predict this depression level only, we are going for this project. So this is the introduction. Existing system. In existing system, we are given that in existing, usually you have to visit some uh, psychologist for your uh, depression level prediction. Also in existing system, clearly mentioned that we have used a decision tree supporting actor machine, then random forest algorithm, then some sort of uh, neural network for the mental health prediction. This is the existing system. But the major drawback was the sample they are taken was very much low when compared to our proper system. The maximum accuracy achieved by the existing system was SVM. It's achieved accuracy around 91 to 92 percentage, which is very much low when compared to our proper system. Also, this is our problem statement. So mental health is very much important to predict everyone's uh, quality of life. We have to predict depression level to overcome start of depression level. We have to enhance some treatment. Okay, this is very much important in nowadays. This is the major problem of this project. To overcome this issue only we are going for the proposed system. In proposed system we have mentioned that the first step belongs to data, step, data collection. In data collection we have to go to the various places. We have to collect some sort of data. So each, every, each and every one's uh, um, depression level according to the questions we have to examine some questions what's your age level or how much uh, uh, salary you are getting so what's your uh, family member size 
uh, what is your working hours like that we have to make some survey survey sort of questions from the answer itself we have to calculate the mental health level depression level this is the proposed system uh, by generally we have mentioned that in our proposed system we have used conversion neural network tnn conversion neural network based algorithm this is our completely proposed system okay this is very much accurate when compared to our existing system so this is very much accurate also uh, as well as we have taken large number of data for predicting the depression level which is also good when compared to the existing system this project we have to use python for the implementation also for html as a front end for making the html uh, sorry website cut or shut up things for running this project you need vs studio as well as uh, vs code as well as anaconda navigator okay so minimum you need 4 gb of ram as well as minimum i3 processor to run this project so this is the fundamental requirements of this project uh, functional requirement non functional requirement this is the overall architecture of the project everything given here once you purchase the project means we can explain everything thoroughly along with the project packages this is the algorithm we are going to consider in our proposed system so this is the modules data set collection module pre processing module written uh, test the module as well as the prediction model those are the models of this project so data flow diagram use case diagram class diagram object diagram activity diagram state diagram everything given in this project so all the diagram given so this is the reference as well as conclusion of this project so without wasting much time i'm going to run this project running this project i'm using anaconda navigator here in anaconda navigator i'm opening my project environment so this is my command prompt of the project environment what i'm going to do means i'm going to go for the project location this is my project location i'm just copying the project location here By using cd space pasting the project location and enter i'm going to give python space app1.py this is my main file name so i'm giving python space app1.py sorry if i forgot i have to give python space app.py this is my coding python space app.py so you have to give python space app.py python space app.py this is my project running purpose so once the coding executed means it will create the local host status so this is your local host status what you have to do means you have to copy the local host status you have to paste in any sort of browser once you paste it in any browser means it will open your website so this is your website so you have to open login page in login page you have to give username as a admin password as a admin everything small then use login button so one login success means what you have to do means you have to upload your data set which you have collected so i am going to show my data set so this is my data set so i just collected various set of questions as well as answer according to that i have given mental stability also so this is the data set collection collected so when the data set collected what's the email id of the person name of the person he belongs to uh, male category or female category so those are the questions so your age is above 30 or below 30 your employment your student or a private company employee so which type of city you are living tie one tie two tie three so those are the questions i'm going to collect so whether you are fine, feeling fine today or not so you are taken your lunch lunch dinner everything correctly so those are the questions i have taken so i am going to upload this data set in our my my website what i am going to do means just choose the file i have to go to the my project location in my project location i have to select my data set so i am just using my data set so this is my data set i am just giving upload button once my data set uploaded means it will do pre processing kind of things it will show my data set here so this is my data set which i mentioned earlier what i am going to do means i am passing this data to the training purpose just i am giving click train once i am click train means those data will pass to the training purpose once training completed means it will show the notification your training has been completed directly you can go for the testing purpose so it's showing training finished i am giving okay means so it given for it going for the testing purpose though this is my testing page i am going to click predict your uh, mental health why so i clicked it means it will show the things so gender i am giving them my data my gender male are you 30 years above yes i 30 years above employment status employed as students myself employed so you feel yourself vulnerable or lonely i am select uh, sometimes i feel so describe how much supported feel you are given by your friends family and otherwise i just selected uh, average gen 
if you have a mental health condition do you face uh, it interface your work so i am just mentioning yes my health condition directly relevant to my interfaces with my work so do you use make yourself abuse smoking alcohol just i am mentioning so i just mentioning that never i never used that so do you take any medical leave or mental health condition to overcome those i just mentioned that uh, how we see to how we see for you to take the medical leave for your mental health condition in your office it's mentioning just i'm giving is not a easy task for me taking the leave from my mental health condition how frequently you are doing this kind of things in your life so mentally i am mentioning that sometimes have you taken any therapy for your uh, mental health i just giving that no i never take that having trouble on concentration you are having some concentration issue on uh, while watching the television studying or uh, reading the newspaper i just mentioning that maybe sometime i am having are you willing to discuss your mental health problem with your co-workers never i don't no i don't discuss with them would you willing to take your mental health issue to your supervisor no i don't discuss with them would you bring your mental health issue with your uh, potential employer in your review, uh, interview no i don't bring so this sort of question is asking i am giving some answer for this each and everything i have to read and i have to give answer genuinely okay genuinely i have to answer so i am giving answer for everything how many hours you are spending on your mobile phone laptop computer television etc i am just giving more than 10 hours per day just i am giving answer for everything how as your employer discussed about your mental health uh, wellness program no they had never discussed with me so do your employer resources provided the mental health and seek help maybe so these are the question i have given these are the answer i given just i am going to use predict button for predicting the mental health level once i clicked the prediction means it will show my mental health level so once i go to the prediction result means see you are not healthy you need medical guidance your mental health score displayed as 12 so i am having 12 percent disorder depression level with me so like this you can get mental health score for example if i am changing some things means if i am changing some answers means let's see what will happen just i uh, change some answers now i can check see the answer you are not healthy you need medical guidance your mental health score was 16% now it's reduced you know so like this it will work this project will work if you going for analysis page it means you have to click the chart page once you clicked the chart page means it will give the result so overall the data which which you are given the 31 percentage of people having stress 68 percentage of people having not stress as well as the accuracy of the project we have used to cnn for this project now so overall accuracy of the cnn was 99 while training so testing accuracy 98 99 while testing 98 percentage while training this is the overall accuracy of this project so this is a better project for this year to get this project just contact itbexpert.com uh, the project description everything below the project details buying link everything given in description if you want this purchase means purchase this project means please subscribe itbexpert.com thank you